Five-year-old Sean Hudson Corum was having a fun time on his uncle's farm in 2018, but on that June day, fun turned tragic when he got caught in a grain auger as it was being emptied. Life is, um, you know, before and after uh, in, in that time frame and will always be before June 2nd and 2018 and after. So Carla Hudson Corum now shares her story and encourages first responders and farmers to get the training they need to help when it comes to grain bin rescue. Next group. Make sure you keep the probes on the inside of the turtle, okay? The Tennessee Association of Rescue Squads held a training for rescuers, including not only classroom instruction about what to do and what not to do, but some hands-on training in a truck filled with corn. The rescue tube and putting it around somebody is the easy part. The hard part is not making it any worse for that victim uh, and also not letting them get into a bind as far as a responder getting in the bin because if they don't understand what they're, they're dealing with, uh, they themselves can become entrapped and become more of a problem. It's not a lot of room. It only takes about 20 seconds for a person to become completely engulfed in corn or soybeans. So every second counts when it comes to getting that person out. For Tayden Hudson, a volunteer at Arrington, Tennessee Fire and Rescue, as well as a farmer, this training is invaluable. It's very easy to make this problem worse and we could become a victim ourselves, and that's what we don't want, right? If somebody's loved one's trapped and they see the rescuers, they want us to rescue. So giving us the base knowledge, the tools for the trade, and just more tools to put in our toolbox to maybe effectively and safely at least start a rescue. Carla Gorham says her faith in God has helped her cope with the loss of their young son, and she knows their lives will never be the same after losing Hudson. But she hopes trainings like this will prevent another farm family from experiencing that type of pain. Being able to help others in grief with child loss and being able to work with these guys and help other first responders, the helping is, uh, helps the grieving process to, um, to give forward. I'm Tammy Arinder for RFD-TV.